and we're back with some more RimWorld. And the plan here today is quite simple. We gotta get started on our little SWAT wizards. Uh, who are the drifters that need aid? No, we'll worry about you guys in a second. Uh, so the first thing we did is we had to become friendly with the Empire. Turns out the pirates by default and the mods we install installed didn't really like the Empire, so we had to do some background shenanigans just to make sure we were neutral with them. Otherwise, there was no psi powers for our SWAT wizards. Yeah, using mods gets really complicated really fast. Probably should have known that. Anyway, we have the option to uh, call in this guy, the Praetor, and do the normal standard royalty quest, which we'll do in a second. What are these drifters? A poor group of travelers, including a child, are approaching looking for health. They are begging for 10 medicine. Uh, right. This guy's not too shabby. Look at this. Shooting, mining, plants, animals, even artistic, and a fast learner. Ooh, you are... You're pretty delicious, buddy. Not gonna lie we might be inclined to perhaps keep you around uh what are you doing where did you even find those corpses oh this is our newest colonist Mer miranda actually one second needs a picture on name please welcome J jason fenwick to the team they may be a little bit temporary uh the reason for that is they're depressive meaning they have a minus 12 mood penalty and if it was just that if they just had the minus 12 i would probably still be okay i mean look at them they've got construction very rare trait to get. Construction bonus, like double flame construction, very unlikely. So we would keep them around forever and just I'd, I'd joy wire them or something. Unfortunately, they also have a health problem in their torso and they've got an aching gunshot, which gives them a minus five in minor pain, meaning they have a constant minus 17 mood penalty at all times. So they're going to rebel, they're going to do something stupid, and they're going to end up getting shot dead. Because that's probably what's going to happen. I, I don't see them lasting very long. Sorry, Jason. It's just uh, that's that's how the cookie crumbles. All right. Uh, we have also set up an electric smelter. Plan for the electric smelters. We just want to melt slag forever to get rid of some old that stuff that fell out of the sky. It's just a bit worth it considering the amount we've already gotten so far. Oh, and we're going to have to crack open just this piñata that is the ancient exosuit midsection strider. In fact, hmm. And our prison breakage is going quite nicely. I mean, by breaking them down, resistance is at 7, 7.5, 6.9, and 10. Ooh. And we should probably bring in this guy. Uh, Praetor, Red Empire, his guards were killed in an ambush. He's been manhunting hare, so he's running from a rabbit. Probably got vicious, sharp, pointy teeth. This will start us on the SWAT path, because we'll have SWAT wizards out of this. Or we'll get wizards at least. I think now that we've got some rain, we'll go clear out these boom loops more meat for the fridge and we've got the rain to put out the fires from them on the way back we can pop the strider as well that thing gives off fire if memory serves uh, and this guy might get added to the prison population uh, we're gonna leave Bjorn behind Bjorn's job is to feed and chat up the prisoners and we will take care of that oh, damn it, I gotta make sure to remember to do this quest before it expires after we take out the boomalope we'll do that quest and grab ourselves our first side level you know what never mind we'll come back for this strider that's that's a lot of meat that'll keep us going for a long while I pretty much get by entirely without doing any farming at the start we put some there but we don't actually need it all right what are you doing you are meditating your recreation is maxed and what would it be like if you tried to arrest that guy 95 percent chance hmm I am saying that guy's a decent choice. Uh, you try to arrest. Cannot arrest no one. Oh, damn it. Okay, we need another bed. Yep, we are really tight on people here. Okay, fine. One more prisoner. What can it hurt? Uh, no need to shoot the kid. That's fine. That kid's gonna leg it. Yeah, okay, whatever. They're probably better off without this guy. Just uh, wander off the map, kiddo. Sorry about your dad. Uh, actually, um, is that your dad? Nah, they're not even... Like, they're just acquaintances. And, you know, there's like a a 23-year-old man hanging around with a 4-year-old. It's probably bad anyway. The kid's better off without him. Well, that's what I'm going to tell myself. One of our prisoners has had a crisis of faith, so I think we're going to try and convert them over to our religion. They're down to 14%. It just makes it easier. But uh, I'm not going to be doing this, like the conversion thing, I'm not going to be doing that to everyone. Reason being is we just don't have time, there's too many of them, and they'd have prison breaks before that happened. So we're going to have to worry about converting them later. What is our conversion rate with Bjorn here? 3%? Uh, never mind. Never mind, you can keep your religion for now. I think our next religious epiphany thing is going to be to change ourselves to have polytheism or... Something along the lines of either multiple religions, or maybe we just convert people naturally by talking to them. One or the other. 
After a nice nap for everyone, we're going to take that quest about the ambushed predator running from the mad rabbit. Oh, and we can't give the results to Bjorn. They're psychically deaf. That means we got to choose between Chris, uh, Vocek, Tyler, and Jason. And we're not giving it to Jason. As a pranic depressive with magic powers, just sad. just no. Nope, nope, nope. Not really feeling like giving it to a pyromaniac who might have mental breaks at any time and just go on a fire starting spree. Also no. That leaves us with Chris, who is our only cook, or that leaves us with Wojciech, who is our fast learner. Ah, I think I gotta give it to Chris. I'm hopeful that we can recruit this prisoner soon enough and they can take over the cooking, because they're out of an 11, and they're less likely to poison everyone. And Chris, yeah, we'll give it to Chris and hope that everything works out when we get her, and we get a replacement cook. Hey, Chris. Dodos? Your name's Dodos? Ugh. The fact that you're getting chased by a rabbit is just embarrassing. A wimp, very neurotic and delicate. Uh, you, get over here. Uh, while we're at it, there is one thing I would like to check. Uh, Psycasts, that's it. Uh, this is the Psycast system under the Psycasts Expanded mod. And basically you get to, well, unlock different abilities by spending points. I think you can gain up to 30. I think the max level is 30, so you get 30 points to spend. But you can either spend them on improving your neural heat uh, or you can spend them on unlocking new abilities. So usually you want to do a bit of both. So you could have someone who could unlock multiple trees, but if they do so, they're going to suffer and everything else. And what actual trees do you have unlocked? Nothing. What's a tribal only? Oh, let me browse. There is a lot to unpack here, but the most fun one I've seen so far. Well, okay, not the most fun one. This one looks the most default. Burden, stun, psychic shock, neural heat dump, dump, berserk, aggressive heat dump, berserk pulse, psychic drone, neural heat detonation, and neuroquake. Most of those are normal ones, so that's sort of like your standard issue one. But there's one here called a chronopath. They can do a plant time skip. I presume that makes your crops grow really quickly, or just grows them instantly, who knows? There's a whole bunch of stuff in there that I really want to do, like a time quake. What, you can just cause people to age and die instantly? That would be kind of fun. Though, this person has five points to spend, and I'm thinking... Word of trust is something we'd be very interested in. Oh, and here comes that rabbit now. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a Madden Manhunting rabbit. We'll just plug in the gun turret. Where's this guy? Where's our new fella? Ah, you. Dodos or Dodos, whatever. What we would like you to do is help break some pawns here that we would like to join us really soon. So how about you get break your psychasts out? Let's see here. Uh, yeah, Archon is fine. We'll unlock that. Did that cost us a point? We went from five points to four. Uh, we now want Word of Trust. Click to unlock. Yeah, drops us a point. Okay, then. Uh, now, who's our best cook? I think this is our best cook here. We're still a little bit injured, but an 11 in cooking, and that would free up Chris. So, if you wouldn't mind, please, I would like to use your Word of Trust on this guy. And... Done? Prisoner has zero resistance left. Yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Bjorn, immediately uh, recruit them. Uh, perfect. Now, is there anything else we could play with here in Psychast, I wonder, before we have to send them home? Glancing through here, there's nothing really else we can do with this pawn, probably before we have to return them. So what I'd like to do is instead, I'll grab a look at some of the abilities that I'd be interested in getting our hands on. Uh, namely, the Chronopath Path which gives us time skip meditation. This one I'm interested in. From what I can read, this basically puts your caster in a self-inflicted coma for a day, but they gain an Im a considerable amount of experience through your next psychast level. It allows you to rapidly level up your psychasting. Unfortunately, it ages you five years. Bit of a downside. Plus side, you have this age ability here, which allows you to siphon the life force from people, meaning you could level up, turn your prisoners into a sort of experience pinata and drain the life force out of them to keep your caster young. Which, okay, we can get two of these, well, okay, if we do this twice, it'll cost 10 years, and then we'll have to do this, well, five times. So we'll have to drain 50 years out of someone to make up for it. But that's, like, one prisoner's lifetime, assuming we get a young enough one. Oh, man, I wish we'd have kept that baby. That four-year-old would have been perfect for that. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, what else do they want? Ah, necropath. Always like me a good necromancer in games. Something about raising the dead. Um... Looking through here, there's nothing too interesting in the lower down levels. You get Word of Fear, which is pointless. No one cares about that. Steel Vitality, which is basically just you grab someone's movement speed, natural healing factor, and you basically make your, your caster better for a bit. Though, why you would do that to a caster, you don't care. You're not going to be putting them into combat. Well, maybe a SWAT wizard. We'll see. Uh, Life Rod is basically just a uh, little bit of damage, makes them throw up. Paralysis Pulse. I hear good stuff about this. Uh... 
everyone in a surrounding radius in a close by radius to your caster gets paralyzed. So you'd want to stack this with something like invisibility, give them paralysis pulse, and you can just like knock out a raid or a large chunk of it at least. This one really interests me. Consume bodies. Psychically strip all remaining life force from nearby humanoid corpses and stores the essence as a permanent stacking buffer to neural heat. This would be a great way to clean up after fights and buff your caster. I like the idea of this. I wonder if there's a limit. I mean, we're going to have to like... I have to get my hands on this at some point and see just how many corpses we can consume and how much we can abuse that. Oh, and then the, the last ones here don't really seem that good, except for Death Shield. Locks the touch target's life force in place for a day, preventing them from dying. So, get like a melee guy, give him this, and then they just can't die. Send them into combat, doesn't matter if they get their head blown clean off. They should theoretically just be able to keep going, though it, that would really affect their ability to swing their sword. You know what? We'll, we'll play around with that later, though. Uh, resurrect. You basically bring someone back to life. Cost the finger of your caster. But, you know, we can replace fingers now. There's ways to get fingers back, and there's probably some other things in here that allow you to get fingers back. I'm sure there's a medic in here somewhere. Oh, would you look at this? Right under Protector, they've got Regrow Limbs. Unless that costs them limbs to do it. No, you know what? Not going to worry about it. Though, there's the next one I was looking at. Where is this? Technomancer. Yes. This one I like the look of as well. There is some fun stuff in here. This tree just, oh, this, this is the fun tree for me. Oh okay, yeah, mend. Psychically manipulate an object or structure to restore its condition. You can basically take busted armors and fix them back up again. So you could get that masterwork or legendary armor and then use it, not worry about it getting damaged, and then repair it when you need to. That is, oh, en enchant quality. Psychically manipulate an object or structure to improve its overall quality. Cannot improve beyond good, though. So you can take any weapon, even if it's terrible, and improve it up to good quality. Uh, not as good as you'd like, but early game, that might be quite powerful. Uh, there's a few other things here that are a bit weird that I don't really get, like power. Uh, basically allows you to run a machine without power for a while, so, uh, whatever. These two interest me. You get a steel construct or a rock construct. Steel construct defends you, rock construct seems to be basically a, a hauler. It just hauls around stuff for you. But it costs you some of your psi focus, um, not your your neural heat. As in, some of your neural heat will disappear and you won't have access to it again until you get rid of the construct. So it's a permanent decrease in your neural heat, but you get a permanent construct until you banish it. What would happen if you combine that with consuming bodies? So you get a whole bunch of neural heat from consuming corpses, use that to create a bunch of rock constructs, and you can have one person basically doing all the hauling for the entire place. Ooh, craft psi ring. Basically, uh, allows you to trap a psi cast inside the ring, and it can be used by someone who doesn't have access to it. So, for example, you could get someone who's got the ability to do psy craft psi ring, and craft a psi ring of age, to siphon the age out of someone. Give it to someone who doesn't have the, the age siphon psy cast, and then suddenly that person can then go around and suck the age out of people gaining years. That would be interesting. Oh, and reverse engineer. This seems completely broken as well. Basically, you, you take a weapon or, well, any item, deconstruct it, and you get the tech for it. So, for example, let's say we picked up a jump pack. We found a jump pack or bought one. We could then use that Psy ability on jump pack. The jump pack would be destroyed, but it would complete all the research for that item. That's ridiculous. Uh, bionic arms. Would that work with bionic arms, I wonder? Ah. Huh. You know what? Not going to work. Oh, cataphract armor. We could steal. Even if it was like degraded cataphract armor, you could suddenly just pop it and get your... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There is. There is. I've already got a few ideas and broken stuff I want to do. All right. Where's that uh, annoying rabbit? There you are. All right. Oh, actually, you. You're going to line of fire the gun. Run away. Run away. Uh, caster guy, you are going to do nothing and already chatting. Okay, perfect. Let's see how our conversion plans go. Okay, if that rabbit closes the distance, I'm going to be very disappointed in you people. How? I am very disappointed. You got... You got... Uh, this is why I should have brought it on people. It's only your left ear. Fine, fine, fine. We're, you're not even getting medicine for that. That is just embarrassing. All right, then. Uh, you can do whatever. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to meditate over there. You know what? We don't want you meditating. In fact... Don't bother cranking up your psi focus. There's going to be a craft along shortly, and we're going to dump you on it. I don't think there's any use for you just now. Yep, there's their shuttle. Okay, Dodos, get in there. We want to get our hands on those psychasts, and you're looking... Yeah, you're looking in a mood. Just uh, get in there quickly before you do something stupid like have a mental break.
Right, freeholder title gained for Chris. Uh, new quest is available. The Yeoman Ceremony and we have completed the other quest. Yeah, let's get rid of all of this. Uh, let's put down a meditation spot somewhere or a party spot so that we have the ceremony at least inside. The reason we put in a party spot is if you call in these ceremonies and there's no party spot available, they'll just pick somewhere random. So you might end up standing in a lake full of corpses or something. That's happened before. Ooh. These guys are actually using the vanilla expanded weapons as well. Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting going on with this card. Goju's Dependency, Death Acid of Fire, yeah, the usual malarkey, nothing too crazy. Gear-wise, yeah, you guys are nowhere close to what Void was. <sighs> Couple of silent Neuroformers. Knocking one of those guys out and grabbing the Neuroformers is tempting, but no, we're going to stick with, like, reasonably normal for now. Before we start this up, we get to welcome a newest member of the team, Suncrist. Uh, Suncrist here has been hired because, well... They were just one of the first people up, and uh, yeah, that's that's why. Also, they've got good cooking. This means their food poisoning chance goes way down. They've also got good animals, artistic, intellectual. They're great all around. The 71 years of age is a bit of a problem, but it hasn't slowed them down yet, so we shall accept them onto the team. Just let me change the cooking bills. They can sort themselves out for, well, everything else, but let's give you a gun real quick. You know what? Equip the machine pistol. Uh, Chris, it is time to begin your bestowing ceremony. Uh, spectators not participating, expected quality, 42%. Uh, we would really like honourable, which would be nice. Is there any way we can prove that? Is this place filthy or something? Little bit of cleaning, whatever. Begin the ceremony. Let's see how it goes. Now, if they're going to get Psycast, I think we're probably going to go straight for the Chrono one, because that will allow them to level up an awful lot faster. You're 17 years of age, This uh, using that chrono time skippy thingy should allow them to go forward an extra five years, that ages them up, and that actually makes them better. When you're between, until you hit 18, you actually have a few debuffs to all of your productivity because you're not quite an adult. Uh, anyone want to finish that off? And done. Honorable bestowing ceremony. Excellent. The odds of that weren't exactly amazing. Huh. Received yeoman title. Very happy. Everyone else is like... Cool. Oh, yeah, and we should probably do some of those religious things, uh, those religious ceremonies. Let's see what his sidecasts are like. You have two points to spend, so that's what you get for one of those thingies. Okay, let's see where we're going to go with this. I think it's got to be Chronopath. It looks like too much fun. Time skip meditation seems to be the only thing we have access to, so we will go that way. Yeah, we'll see how this works out. Is that... Yeah, okay, bestowing ceremony is finally finished. Everyone's going to grab a nap in the morning. We'll, I'm thinking, like, at the prisoners here, I'm thinking it's this one's probably going to be our toughest one. The resistance is 10. We've got a 6, a 2.7, and a 7. So, 7 be the next lowest. Mm -hmm. What age is this pawn? 24 or 19. Who is the least useful to us? Actually, maybe Gutsman. I'm just looking at their stats and... Why would we want them? They're basic. Okay, they're a straight up researcher, but this pawn comes with researcher, social, medical, animals. Okay, true, they don't have any. Their psychic sensitivity is terrible, but I think I would prefer them. Hmm. What's the health conditions? Yeah, plus they've got a psychite dependency and stuff, which we'd prefer not to deal with. This pawn has great shooting, animals, artistic, mining, and plants. I mean, you have one miner. Having a second would be kind of handy. It's just. Yeah, I think of all of them, Gutsman is the most disposable. Uh, we might even dispose of a second one if absolutely necessary. Depends how this uh, meditation goes in the morning. All right, Chris, time to do this time skip meditation. It's going to cost you five years of your life. Let's hope it's worth it. Right now, your psychasts are at 0, 0.0 of 115 of psychast level one. Let's see what this does to you. Come on. And now you're unconscious. Well... Excellent. Psychic coma for 24 hours. Psychast level, though. Psychast level 3. That gives us two more points to burn. Hmm. I think word of foretelling, and then, uh, age. Yeah, very inefficiently siphons life force from a living target to aging the caster by two years and aging the other by ten. Perfect! So once you're back up on your feet, we can get your years back. We'll just take them from Gutsman. Will cost him a little bit more than it cost you, but that's okay. In fact, what age are you now? You're... Wait. 22? What age were you when we started? Oh yeah, 17. What am I thinking? It's fine. It's fine. And we should have enough people to hold a line right now. We've got... This is really early to have this many people, it feels like. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, turret is going up. Uh, well, sorry. Turret is doing a good job of protecting us, but what I'm doing over here is chopping up some blocks. What I want to do is claim this area now. Then people will have to come from this direction, hopefully. Or maybe we'll actually make it even further out. The thing is, what I'd like to do is... Damn it, no. Actually, we'll take over this area first. We'll ch we'll put in a block here. That Then we can seal in the farm areas, and then we'll fight whatever comes from either side. We're, we're not going to make a defensive line just yet. That will be a little bit in the future. Well, Chris has woken up, finally. And health-wise, they're fine. No problems with their brain or anything. Psychasts are all assigned. Let's get you in there. In fact, let's try something here. We have two things at our disposal, age and word of foretelling. I would like to try and use word of foretelling to help break this prisoner. They're the toughest one we've got. Nine resistance. Minus 11. Well, that's a thing. Did also age our pawn by a year. They're now 23. But that's okay. They're going to use the age ability on... Guts Gutsman. Hey, Gutsman. Um, this may sting a little bit. You're 21 right now, and... Now you're 31. Yep. Yep. Psychite dependency, age sickness. Right, five days. That's gonna knock you on your butt. How's our guy doing? Well, your psi focus is completely drained. Time skip meditation is taking a while to recharge. You know what? Let's not bother doing any of that for you. Let's just put you right back to mining. I want you to mine out these walls first. Actually, if you wouldn't mind prioritizing all this area through here, that would be great. Well, uh, we've got a new recruit. Kate Kiet? No, actually, that's not their name. Their name will be Riza. Please welcome Riza to the team. These are probably the worst people for a SWAT team, but I'm thinking those guys are going to be up front of the SWAT team. For SWAT wizards, they're, they're going to be the meat shields at the front. Uh, they've definitely got, well, they're psychically dull. This one's a night owl cannibal careful shooter. Uh, yeah, they'll sort stuff out. Plus, it's nice to have, where is it? An animals, medical, social, and intellectual. So having a second medical doctor is excellent. Social as well for recruiting more people. Though Honestly, we're just about done with the recruitment. I don't really want to go over about 10 pawns. I think 10 might be too many even. And then we've got animals as well on top of that. They'll be fine. I'm beginning to think maybe I should have left them as a battery, but uh, the other ones, no, the other ones I'm pretty attached to. Like having some, mm. actually, wait a minute. How about the strong? Do we really need this guy? You know what? They've got, they've got construction. You always want more constructors, don't you? I think it's time we maybe worked on our security a bit. So we're going to seal in this entire area. Uh, then I'm thinking we're going to fo funnel everyone in here. We'll keep this door cranked open. So this is the only entrance in. And then we'll probably block off this area as well. In fact, give me. let's just start on that now. Uh, this is only going to be wood walls for now, which is not great. But uh, it'll keep them out for now and we can replace them with stone walls later. Perfect. Then what we'll do is we'll just set up some barricades here so that we've got good shooting. And then I'll have to come across this watery, muddy, swampy area. Might have to put in a few little blocks here and there to make sure they have to go across the mud and water which will slow them down and we just gun them down as they're slowly crawling their way towards us. That would be the hope. I'm thinking we need a religious reformation to change all of these uh, pawns a little bit faster and I'm going to try something a little different this time around. We're going to try and do it passively. I don't know if it'll work but I'm willing to give it a shot. So uh, to do some of our rituals I think we're going to need to get ourselves an altar, a lectern and all the little bits and pieces you want to do a proper religion. If they would finish off these walls we queued up, like, ages ago. Uh, Jason's just going to be unhappy for ever, though they still have not had a mental break. In fact, I don't think anyone's had a mental break yet. Or maybe if, it, if they have, I haven't noticed. Despite all the lack of tables and all sorts of things. Uh, you two can go, and we've got a new recruit in Grub. Grub's only purpose? Um, art. That's all they're going to be into. Here's the, the work section, but basically art and mine are going to be their two main skills. We actually have someone who's already better at art in Suncrist, but they're going to spend all their time pretty much cooking. They're our dedicated cook cook. So yeah, anytime they're not cooking, we'll probably put them into science. Once we get this finished, we're going to get into science. It's just I'm trying to move people out of this room slowly but surely. Oh, speaking of someone not having a tantrum, Jason's going to have a tantrum and smash up random furniture items and structures. This happens because of poor mood. Should we beat them into unconsciousness? Oh, they are a good constructor for now. You know what? Go, go do it. I, I'm sure we'll care about it at some point, but if you kill something that's important to us, I reserve the right to execute you. I completely forgot to name Grub. Grub's new name as a SWAT wizard will be Basil. All right, Basil. Welcome to the team. 
And uh, that's... Oh, they still have not finished there or there. They seem to be half-assing everything simultaneously. I really should remember to just uh, specialize them in one area at a time. For example, let's just pause all of this stuff over here. But they don't waste time on it. And instead they concentrate on the stuff we really care about. Chris has actually... Yep, three days have gone by. They now can do the time skip meditation again. All right, just thought I'd show here. Right now I've got them meditating at a meditation spot. But nothing near anything they can use. They can only meditate to dignified and artistic, and right now there's nothing in range. But despite that, if you go under Psychast and watch them meditate, you'll see that they're going up to 82.3, 0.4, 0 0.5. Anyone who's meditating to increase their psi focus, they also increase their experience, which means they can just level up their spells naturally that way. We're just trying to skip it forward a little bit. So let's just pop in here real quick so that they're inside when it happens, and pop time skip meditation. Uh, this should level them up a little, give them a little bit more experience, and when they pop out of it, we can dump the years they gained back into Kid Pros or whatever. Uh, what are we looking at here on Psycasts? Yep, gained another two levels. Perfect. Uh, that increases their heat, fo heat, psi focus, all that stuff. And we're currently churning out statues. Reason being is we did not play tribal, so we need something that people can meditate at. And I'm thinking, yeah, marble sculptures. Lots of marble sculptures will allow them to meditate just that little bit quicker. Now we're looking on the walls. Okay, that wall's complete. Uh, that wall... That wall's not quite complete, but it will be shortly. Uh, once they start that one, we're going to get all of this built as well. Ah, insulting spree for Riza. Uh, okay, uh, they're very unhappy because, well, they ate meat. Yeah, that's one of the reasons we're going to have to do our religious thing. Hey, look, it's Jeremiah Johnson. What the hell, Zach? He's like... 15, pushing on 50 with that complexion. All right, uh, oh. we can't, well, we can try to arrest Riza. They will be very unhappy afterwards, but we don't want to mess in with Bjorn. Bjorn's been here longer than you, Riza. You're like fresh off the boat. You're just here. You know, you're a useful member of the team, but I'm thinking, yeah, straight to the prisons with you. And resting, eh? Well, we're going to release you. Uh, that's fine. Come on, let him go. You just... How? How did you... We just let you out. Okay, I understand. Uh, did Jason start this, maybe? Jason Fenwick called Riza a donkey. This drove Riza into a rage. Okay, so basically he gets let out of prison, and the first thing that gets said to him is, Hey, donkey. <laughs> so he starts throwing hands already. Uh, oh, I'm not sure which one to blame. You know what? They're both Muppets. Like, uh, one of them's a, one of them's a high, highly depressive person whose catharsis is about to wear off in 2.6 days, and the other one's been force-fed a whole bunch of meat and they don't like it. Uh, should we beat them down or should we arrest them again? Was imprisoned. What happens if we imprison you again? Um, prisoner Rizna is escaping. What? Oh, no, no. Okay, now they're captured. Then we release them. Okay, Riza, you, you're going to be released in a second. Uh, yeah, 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 they're fine. For a second there, I thought they were about to be released off the map. It's like, no, no, we recruited them. We want to keep them. I was on, like, the minus six from imprisonment is going to last 12 days, but we're going to have that anyway, one way or the other, so we were better off just arresting them and preventing the fight. We are running a little bit shy on meat in the fridge, so I thought a quick top-up was in order. Uh, the joy of this, though, is they should just run away the moment they get anywhere close to us. Nope. Damn it, how are they... They shouldn't try and run past us like that, but... Eh, doesn't matter, we got a few, we'll grab a few more on the way home. We should have plenty of meat for the mornings. And while we're here, we're going to take out this thing. I've been meaning to do this for a while and try and get it started on a mechanator. I mean, a wizard mechanator SWAT guy sounds pretty awesome. Oh, wow, I forgot how tough that thing was. Uh, who's got the worst gun? Uh, Basil? Yeah, maybe go grab one of those deers. Prioritize hauling that dough. In fact, let's uh, prioritize hauling a bunch of those. We want those all home. We have installed the allow tools just so that we can do this. Uh, yeah, the allow tool gives you that whole urgently command, which is quite nice for many reasons. Ooh, there's a bear. I think we have a good enough team to take on the bear. Is that? Yep, that's starting to pop. That's going to start off in a second. 
go. Let's uh, gain a little bit more distance. There you go. Never mind. That was over instantly. Please hold, hold urgently. We're going to want that stuff all in the fridge. There's a mechanoid transpan... Ah, transpander. Transponder that pops out of that thing when you blow it up. We are going to use that to summon down a shuttle that should give us a mechanator implant. So that means we can make a mechanator minion. All right. Um, sealed, 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 sealed. Put in a little bit of a kill box in here. Nothing too fancy. We're going to be going mobile after a while. So making anything too big just seems kind of pointless. We just want to level up a bunch of spells so we can become powerful and then hit the road and become more powerful as we go. Oh, though I, we may have to leave some of these people behind. Jason is just... I'm sorry, Jason, but without catharsis, you're kind of useless. You're just... You're, that, those minuses are too much. Though maybe we can fix your minor pain with a spell. That might ha help. Chris is back on their feet, which is great news, actually. Now, they've aged up a little bit. They're 26. I think they were 17 when they started. So let's do this age thing. Very inefficiently, inefficiently siphons life force. What are you at? You're at 31. And now you're at... 41. Chris is back to 24. How long does that take before we can use it again? Oh, never mind. We can use it again now. Excellent. Let's just grab a little bit more from you. Ah, beautiful. We're down to 22. I mean, they don't really need this extra life force, but we might as well squeeze the maximum amount out of the prisoner, then we can get rid of them. Uh, prisoner's now going to be 61. Uh, I think that's about enough. We start going above 60. We got to worry about things like, you know, heart attacks and stuff like that. Uh... And Chris can go back to meditating. We're going to have a statue for them soon. And once they get a statue, they should be able to meditate that a little bit faster. And we're going to ch churn out a bunch of statues. Oh, that's right, actually, as well. I do want to do one of these thingies. Uh, is everyone up on their way? What time is it? All right, we'll wait till everyone's had their nap. But in the morning, we're going to start doing up some rituals. First things first, we need a religious leader. And I'm thinking Bjorn. Bjorn's got what it takes. Namely because they've got the highest social of anyone with our base religion. So... Yes, we're going to begin the role change. Uh, Bjorn, you will be our moral ambiguist, and then we'll just get rid of as many people as possible. We only need two people to attend this. Uh, done? Can we, can we get away with less? Ex yeah, fine. We'll, we'll stick in two. You can have two people. Excellent. All right, we'll begin that. Wait, where's Tyler there? That could have been awkward. Okay. Bjorn, you are you will be our new leader. Well, new religious leader. What would you like to tell everyone while we're here? Uh, intelligence makes her suited for the role. Talks about her strengths and how to leverage them. Offered her thoughts and beliefs about the future. And talked about her good qualities. Yeah, basically she can convert people to our side. Alright, once this place is finished building, this is going to be Bjorn's room. Namely because they are now going to have higher requirements. Uh, let's see, how's everyone doing? Everyone actually has low expectations because we've gotten a little bit wealthier than we should have. Bjorn has high expectations, so we're getting her her own private room, and we're actually going to floor that room as well. We do have some sandstone lying around, so, uh, there you go. Perfect. Oh, now that Bjorn's up and about, let's, uh, begin the supreme fi Actually, let's let Bjorn get some recreation. They're at 54%. How did people get such low recreation? Oh, and the strong... Needs to be assigned out. What did we hire them for again? Convenience? Animals, cooking, construction. Okay, so construction primarily with a secondary and cooking and animals in case anyone gets sick. Well, Tyler's decided to go on a spree. He's targeting Basil. Well, Basil, let's just go for a run. You want to get insulted? Well, they're going to have to catch up with you. Good luck with that. I think Basil's got the speed on him. 3.68 versus... What has Tyler got? 2.89. Yeah, Tyler's not going to be able to keep up with them. So we'll just run them around in circles until they get tired of this. Yep, never mind. They've they've already lost. Uh, what are you at now? Holding sandstone blocks. Have you recovered yet? Your catharsis has kicked in. I think we need to feed them some chemicals. Problem is, they've got chemical fascination and we don't have anything to give them. Who drank the wine? Where'd the wine go? There was a bottle of wine there not two seconds ago and someone's nicked it. Uh and it definitely wasn't Tyler, I can tell. The colony is absolutely humming. I think we got everything sort of working out nicely. And we'll be able to stretch our food supply shortly because we're going to start cutting them with potatoes. Actually, wait, those potatoes are only 65%. Yeah, not much time has passed. There's just, there's so much has gone on so quickly that we just haven't had time to do anything. Okay. We want to do a quick conversion ritual. Uh, Strong here is a decent candidate, but unfortunately they're only getting a minus two. So converting them is not is going to remove a minus two from them. Suncrist and Riza, well, they've got huge negatives. Basically, eating meat is causing them massive problems. Wait, 
Why are you getting eating meat and not the other one? Are you not both part of the same furry pack? You know what? Doesn't matter. We're picking Basil, though. The reason we're going with Basil is... They've actually got a minus 10 for missing high life, and already they're down to 26%, meaning we can just hammer them immediately and hopefully convert them instantly. Begin conversion ritual... Uh, give me Basil up here. Yep, yep, perfect, 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 and we shall begin. All right, buddy, uh, get everyone in here. Oh, wow, he actually picks him up. Okay, that's, that's fair. Very slow, though. Very, very slow. Uh, what are we saying about him? Uh, purpose of life. Yeah, love and hate. What's Basil saying? Or describe the wrongness of apostasy. Love and hate. Wrong <laughs> hey, look, if you're just going to... You know, complained about uh, the wrongness of apostasy. We don't care. Uniting for the greater good. Righteousness of belonging. Yada, yada, yada. You better break. Come on, Basil. You know you want to join us. Look at that floppy hat. You want to leave the high life and behind. Effective conversion ritual? How are you not converted 100%? O okay. Keep the crowd entertained as any room... But they're not converted. They're still... They're still high party. Well, we'll have Bjorn do a convert on them in a bit. For now, what I'm thinking, though, is we are going to begin the Supreme Fiesta. Actually, we're going to let everyone eat. Then we're going to do the Supreme Fiesta and grab ourselves another few ritual points. What I want to do is do a bit of a re religious conversion ritual in a bit. Not a religious conversion ritual. I want to actually modify our religion in a bit to help us out. So, Supreme Fiesta, we don't have a leader, doesn't matter, Bjorn, you can do it. And, yeah, hopefully this will make everyone a little bit, a little bit nicer. We've raved about her own group. Right, well, I think that's done, everyone's going to have their little party times. Hopefully this improves the religion. Party is beginning. Oh, how long does the party go on for? Ooh, and someone did a little conversion attempt. Certainty 23 to 20? Ah, everyone's talking to each other. Come on, someone just has to talk to Baz a little bit. His certainty is at 0.15%. <sighs> okay, fun Supreme Fiesta. We got plus one development point. Perfect. What's our religion looking like? We got two development points. Well, in that case, let's... Uh, keep... Oh, damn, everyone's sleeping. Okay, quick ritual in the morning as well. This changes the plan. Not hugely, but I definitely want to take this one. The shuttle from a red Imperium is taking damage, seeking a place to land. Some people will pop out. We have to defend them. Uh, it takes about eight hours, so it's a short quest to do. We can get three honor out of it. You need six honor to get a Psylink, which would get us, well, which would open someone else up for spells. And the way this seems to work is, well, once you've got access to spells, you can just keep unlocking more. Like, they can just keep leveling up and up and up, so long as they're meditating. They don't need any more Psylink Neuroformers. Once you get a single Psylink Neuroformer, that person is good to be a wizard forever and ever and ever and can keep getting their own levels to upgrade. I'm pretty sure we can get Psylinks, or not Psylinks, um, spells from the towns and buy them to help increase their skills and open up more trees for them as well. There's plenty of options there, so I'm thinking definitely anything that involves goodwill, we need to get everyone at least one level in Psycasting. Uh, then we need to get into vehicle cells and stuff, so I'm thinking, ooh, and we got to crack open this Ancient Danger, and we got to pop this Mechanoid Transponder. I think the person who's going to be a Mechanator is Bjorn. They're psychically deaf, so since if they're not going to be a wizard, they might as well be a Mechanator. But I'm uh, already over time for today. I'm thinking lots more people... Well, we need to do this uh, Ancient Danger. We need to get this quest. We need to finish off the rooms. Uh, we need to start pairing people off. In fact, I need to count how many males and females we have. I didn't start arranging them off, trying to couple them off so that they have better morale. Once we start leaving this base, traveling around the place, it's going to be much harder to keep them happy. Ah, damn it, we've got six guys. Okay, okay, that means we're going to have to go up to 12 people, or one of these people is going to have to magically, uh, you know, uh, change. <laughs> because otherwise we're going to, yeah, it's either, tw I think 12 people, but 12 might be too many for a caravan. I think 10 would be better. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it on the background and that burn on the back of my brain. We definitely need to get at least one more female to complete the group and start pairing everyone off. Ooh, uh, more medicine for everyone there, please. Anyway, next step will be a little bit of combat and questing, but most of it's going to be just chucking down some research benches and we're going to have to hit the research hard. Really, really hard. And I especially want the vehicles as well. We're going to be like targeting anything that gives us, well, 
We're going to be targeting anything that gives us silence so that we can turn everyone into wizards. And we're also going to be getting into vehicles and start testing those out. We want to be able to run around the map and basically hit up ancient dangers, maybe raid some places, do a lot of selling and buying, and uh, just generally up with an overpowered crowd so that when the time comes, we can finally take on the void at the end of all of this. Ooh, and maybe do some Winston wave rounds as well. In fact, it'd be fun to do some Winston wave rounds when we get some necromancers. Mm-hmm. Anyone got any suggestions for particular combos in here? Right now, I'm thinking definitely Chronopath with Necropath for getting those uh, that stealing corpses to make uh, more neural heat, combined with Technomancers for just the ability to repair stuff and reverse engineer things. That'd be really handy for technology right about now. We'll also need a little bit of Skip Master because you can't play without Skip. Skip and Fire Skip are just too useful when you're out in the map. And also, we're going to need to get our hands on Invisibility because Invisibility is just one of the most OP things. So those two areas as well, but I think a lot of... Con uh, <laughs> A lot of us will be co concentrating on neuropaths. Or, uh, yeah, necropaths, sorry. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Thank you.